Hello everyone, Adam here with AZ Premier GK and in today's video we're going to take a look at the brand new style of the Nike Vapor Grip 3. Now you can see the new Nike VG3 was worn in this summer's World Cup by goalkeepers such as Belgium's Thibaut Courtois, Sweden's Robin Olsen, and Russia's Igor Akinfeyev. So now let's take a closer look at the new style Nike VG3 and then we'll get into a full review of the glove. The new style Nike Vapor Grip 3 features a 4mm palm of Nike's All Conditions Control Latex. This palm is arranged on Nike's Grip 3 cut which is made up of the two middle fingers being flat cut and then having wraparound fingers on the pinky, index finger, and thumb. The backhand of the glove is a full latex backhand. And the glove body is made up of a new four-way stretch material. The glove also features a lower sitting elasticated wrist bandage and a full latex wrist strap. Now let's have a quick close look at the glove and then we'll get into the full review. Now let's take a look at what, in my opinion, the new style Nike VG3 can offer you. The first thing you'll notice about the new style VG3 is the wrist entry system. It has an elasticated wrist entry bandage, but this bandage sits lower on the glove. There is a good uh, inch or so of material between the wrist entry bandage and the palm of the glove. So what this does is actually put that four-way stretch material that the glove body is made of around your wrist and then the wrist bandage sits lower on the wrist. Now Nike claims this is for increased flexibility, uh, which is absolutely true. But having this um, cut the way that it is, the full latex wrist strap is also lower on the wrist around the bandage so there is very little wrist support right there where the wrist meets the base of your palm so the wrist strap and bandage are actually a good probably two inches lower than that palm base um, so there's no actually wrist support from the wrist strap um, the closure system does have two velcro points making it a very secure closure system I didn't find the need to readjust the glove, uh, but just be aware that this does provide the increased flexibility of the wrist that Nike claims, but with that you lose wrist support. The next thing you notice once you get the glove on is that this is a very different glove from previous Vapor Grip 3s. This glove is extremely tight fitting. Although it does have that flat cut on the two middle fingers, it is a very tight fitting glove uh, due to the four way stretch material that it is made of. Um, I would recommend uh, that if you want a looser fitting glove or at least um, a moderately loose fitting glove, you go up a size. Um, I'm a size 10, I got these in a size 10 and it is a very, very tight secure fit. Um, if you're used to the cut, the fit and feel of the old VG3, uh, this is nothing like that glove. It is very tight fitting. Probably one of the most tight fitting gloves that I've worn in a long time. However, with that, 
this new four-way stretch material is extremely comfortable. Um, I was very, very impressed with the fit and I mean the feel of these gloves. Um, the material basically just adheres to your hand and it moves um, with any which way you move your finger, thumb, wrist. It just follows your movements exactly. There's no resistance. Uh, no nothing it is super comfortable uh, it's kind of made uh, out of like an air mesh material but as you can see um, it stretches anyway so it follows your hand movements exactly and it is super comfortable it also makes up um, the gussets on the two middle fingers and because it is made out of a, a seemingly air mesh type material uh, with that added uh, flexibility and stretch, uh, it is very breathable. So that's one thing I did notice even in warm conditions. This glove is very breathable, very comfortable. Uh, your hand's not going to get all hot and sweaty inside this glove. It is supremely comfortable and will keep your hand nice and dry even in warm weather. Uh, the backhand of the glove is a full latex backhand. Uh, no punch zone or anything, so not a lot of backhand support, but again, just a very comfortable, um, very flexible glove all around, including the backhand. Uh, now let's get into the new palm. So this is Nike's All Conditions Control Palm. It is four millimeters of, I'm assuming, Nike's contact latex, but then they say that there is an additional uh, lining to the back end of the palm to help take the sting out of those hard shots for um, more cushion. And in the all conditions control, um, what they mean basically is it will provide the same amount of grip in both wet and dry weather, um, all conditions. And I found that statement to be very true. In dry weather, uh, this provides excellent grip uh, as Nikes always have. Uh, their top level gloves have always provided top level grip and there is no difference here. Uh, that extra element of cushing, I can say, um, I, I did notice it. Compared to the Nike VG3 of the past, you can definitely tell this is a more cushioned palm. Um, and definitely helps a little bit to take the sting out of those hard struck balls. Uh, I did have the opportunity to test this glove in the rain and the all conditions control definitely held up. This glove provide excellent grip in the rain uh, as well as in dry conditions. Uh, as far as durability goes, Nike gives this glove a durability rating of two. Uh, you can see that on the box that it comes in. Uh, two out of five is the durability rating that Nike gives it. Um, I used this glove in four matches so far and two training sessions. And all I'm seeing is there's starting to be a little tearing on the thumb and on the tip of the index finger. Um, I would have to disagree with that durability rating. And I assume they're talking about just the palm, uh, not the entire glove in general. I'm sure they're talking about the latex, but I would say the durability is actually pretty good uh, for a palm of this level of softness and grip. Um, you know, with a durability rating of two after four matches and two about hour long training sessions, I would expect to see more tearing uh, than what I'm seeing. And uh, so, so far, I, I would have to give it a, a little higher um, rating than what Nike themselves give it. Now, this glove does come in at a price point of about $125 US, which is uh, about the, the, it's not like the high, high end, like you see some gloves costing $200 these days, but it is at the top end of uh, the match glove market of uh, what you would expect for a reasonably priced uh, top level match glove. So definitely wouldn't recommend it for training. Um, definitely match only glove, uh, a little bit of an investment, uh, but well worth it in my opinion. So now let's quickly go over what, in my opinion, this glove can offer you. So what you're gonna get is a nice secure wrist closure that sits a little bit lower on the wrist. So it doesn't provide a lot of wrist support, but it makes up for that providing a lot of wrist flexibility. 
you're going to get an extremely tight fitting glove but an extremely comfortable fitting glove made out of a four-way stretch material that's going to move any which way your hand and finger does uh, and it's extremely comfortable um, you're also going to get a glove that you probably want to go up a size in uh, just to feel you know comfortable and make the glove easy to get on and off if you go with your normal size it's going to be an extremely tight fit uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of backhand support. This glove isn't made for that. This glove is made for grip and comfort. So what you're also going to get is uh, an excellent uh, palm with amazing grip and a nice latex surface area due to the grip three cut, the two middle fingers flat cut, nice wide middle finger catching area, and the wraparound on the index, pinky, and thumb provides for latex coverage at all points. You're also going to get a glove that's, in my opinion, more durable than the rating suggests. And you're also going to get a glove that's near the upper end of the match glove price point. So it is going to be an investment. So as you can see, this new style Nike VG3 is a completely different glove than the old one. Uh, and in my opinion, it's, it's a step up. I really love this glove. I was very happy with it. So I am Adam with AZ Premier GK. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you do subscribe, please remember to turn on notifications so you will be notified of future videos. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you guys next time.